Davidson left the bank in March 2007. In his place, the board appointed KCB's Deputy Managing Director, Martin Oduro Tieno, as the new Chief Executive for the next four years. In April 2009, KCB merged its mortgage business and banking operations in a landmark restructuring that was to jolt the home loans market in the country. And to cut down on costs, Savings and Loan, SNL, merged with KCB. The bank did this that year, even as it installed a new core banking system, the T24 a major milestone which made it possible for customers to operate their accounts from any KCB branch in the East African region. One of the things that we had, and I kept on hearing this from management, is that we had the number of customers we had. At that time, it was about half a million customers. At the most, it came to was about 600,000 customers that the technology we had could not support. A bigger base, a bigger customer base. Now, in a bank, if you don't have a big customer base, <laughs> you're not going very far. Mm. So, one of the, and uh, to put in a new technology was not uh, cheap. And we are talking at a period when the bank is making losses. So, that decision to spend that kind of money at a time you're not paying shareholders, you can barely meet the prudential guidelines with the, with, with the CBK, it was a bold step. But that, I think, was a defining moment for KCB to start thinking putting in, about putting in the best technology there was. And um, of course, we went through a period of searching, made a few four steps before we arrived at T24. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it may have its challenges even today, but we have seen the benefits. Of T24. At the 2009 AGM, former chairperson Susan Mudune bowed out of the board of directors after serving for eight years and was succeeded by Peter Mudoka. It was also the year the bank announced a 42% growth in its pre tax profit to 6 billion Kenya shillings for the year that ended on December 31st, 2008. As a board, we decided that maybe we should have a charter that uh, stipulates how long one could serve so that uh, it doesn't bring unnecessary, uh, unnecessary conflict and that is, it would be understood that after you've served for seven, eight years, then you would, you know, give your, give your chance to somebody else to come in and maybe come in with the new ideas for the organization. All this was done for the, for the benefit of the organization. So when my term, my eighth year came, I, everybody knew that I, I, I would leave. <laughs> so it was, not, uh, it was not a surprise to anybody else and it, and it was not a personal decision. It was, uh, uh, it was a joint uh, or uh, an institutional decision that we had made together and we owned it and we had to live by it. And I believe that after I'd left, other directors who had finished their term also uh, you know, gave way, gave way to, to, new, to new blood. This phenomenal growth by KCB came even as the world was going through an unprecedented financial crisis. And in Kenya, there was the aftermath of the violence that followed the re-election of President Kibaki in the disputed presidential election of December 2007. To cushion the country from the crisis, the Central Bank of Kenya announced a number of policy measures, among them the reduction of the ratio of cash that financial institutions were required to retain from 6% to 5%. With the country still reeling from the post-election violence, these measures would impact negatively on the country's economy and banking sector. My periods for, of joy were usually very short-lived <laughs> because you'd hit a milestone and you'd be quite happy. But then you always knew that there were other challenges to come. And therefore immediately the period of joy would then, 
you, you probably don't enjoy it too much because then the next minute you're on to the next challenge and trying to think about, okay, now that we've hit 200, how do we get to 250, you know? Now that we've hit, you know, 8 billion of profit, how do we get to 15 billion of profit, you know? Uh, now that we are in two countries or three countries, how do we get to six countries? So it was always that there was always, a, you know, something to keep uh, the adre adrenaline flowing uh, all the time. The economy recorded a paltry 1.7% growth in 2008 compared to a high of 7.1% in 2007. KCB managed an increase in profitability of only 5%. This, however, did not stop the bank from opening its 199th branch in the Mohanga district in Kigali, Rwanda, and its 200th in Juba, South Sudan, towards the end of 2009 and thus retaining its status as the region's largest commercial bank with a staff of more than 5,600.